before going into database encryption, let's talk about database security in general first. So to keep your database secure, it's not just encrypted data. Um, you need to consider um, any other aspect as well. The first aspect is that when you um, run the database or log into database, you want to log in um, or, or let the app log in as a normal user, not a root user. You know, because if with the root user, you can do anything with the database. You can drop table, you can drop schema, so it's very not safe. So what you should do is that you have to set up um, um, another user just for the app or for, um, you know, any user that can log in. And then second, you assign grants to um, those users. So um, the grant in database usually is a fine grain access control. It specify who can read or write um, which tables. And um, some, uh, actually most DBMS actually has more fine grain than that. So when you talk about write, you can specify whether you can insert, update, or delete at which table. So it's very, very, uh, it's much safer if you configure the access control um, for each user specifically, right? So, um, and um, with um, the normal user and with the fine grain access control, so this is more like the access control of um, um, the database itself. Next, you have to make sure that the data itself is secure. So to make sure that data is secure, you have to make sure that you encrypt the data at rest. And um, the database is there so that um, the application can read or write, right? So when you transfer data, you have to make sure that it's secure as well. So you want to encrypt the connection um, using the SSL or TLS. Um, and um, that is the um, secure data in transit. So um, in this video, we're gonna be learning about um, encrypt data at rest. So to encrypt a database, um, there are self several way of doing it. Um, the first um, option is to encrypt at the schema level or the table level. And usually it's um, a configuration that you can set in the DBMS that you choose. Um, different DBMS has different way of config to, to configure it. So you have to um, learn and, um, and, and do it. Um, that's first option. The second option is to do column level encryption. Usually the column level encryption is done at the code level. So before you write to the data, you do the encryption first. Uh, and different uh, option, the table level and the column level has, um, you know, disadvantage and advantage. So you have to uh, learn which one is more appropriate to your application and then choose the one you think is more appropriate. So first, let's talk about the schema or table level encryption. So each DBMS has different way of um, encrypt um, and, and configure it. So for the first example, let's take a look at um, MySQL. For MySQL, um, you can add um, like a clause when creating schema or table. So this is like an example of how to uh, like configure encryption at the schema and table level. So the first option is to set a global configuration. So in the first option, you make sure that all the table that you created is encrypted. So you set like a global configure. Right? So this is, um, I guess this is um, very secure because you make sure that all the table is encrypted. Um, in second option, <coughs> you specify um, that for, for this particular schema, uh, schema test, you want the default encryption to be yes, right? So you, you said for all the table in this schema has to be encrypted. So that's the second option you specify at the schema level. The third option you specify at the table level. So at the table level, you when, when you do um, table creation, 
at the end you add encryption equal to y so you specify that the encryption um, you have to do like the encryption another option is that if the table has already been created you can alter the table and change the encryption to yes right so this is how you set the um, schema or table level encryption uh, for my SQL um, to do that um, some of the option here need um, like a key management configuration as well and um, you you can um, take a look and, and, and read about it um, uh, yourself um, next for DBMS S2 uh, you can when you create table or when you um, specify like the URL for the S2 you can add option cipher at the end of URL right so here th that's what you do right uh, this is um, a setting for um, Java Spring Boot in the application.properties um, usually you're gonna have um, spring.datasource.url when you specify the URL for um, your H2 you place semicolon and then cipher equal to um, the algorithm that you choose and um, usually AES um, is um, quite um, secure so this is what you, you so, so you can choose like AES and then uh, you also need to specify password so the password here is for encrypt the database so here um, for H2 you will have to specify two type of password the first type of password is going to be file password so this one is going to be used to encrypt and decrypt um, the database and then the second password that you have to specify in, in the configuration is the user password when you log in so for the username SA when you log in into H2 to get into the database you, you have to use the user password here to encrypt and decrypt um, the H2 will use PI file password to do it automatically for us um, and then uh, you have to place the space between the two type of password so um, very easy to um, configure H2 to make um, your database encrypted right. okay next let's talk about um, the um, DBMS but not local um, Amazon AWS has um, a database for you to use um, um, actually it has a lot of um, database for you to use one option is to use RDS AWS RDS um, is the um, re relational database for AWS so to make sure that your database in AWS um, is encrypted you can just check the box so when when uh, when you go into um, the AWS um, and when you want to create database right um, it's gonna ask for you to choose um, like the type of database that you you want there are uh, quite different type uh, and for any type you, ch you choose when you scroll down it's gonna has an option whether you want to, it to be encrypted or not just just check the box that's it and it's gonna be encrypted very simple very easy right but you just know that you need to uh, check this box to make your data secure very simple okay so um, that is the example of um, the schema or table level encryption um, I have shown you um, three types of DBMS but for any other um, it's gonna be something similar you know just um, do configuration or um, run some specific command so you can um, uh, for any like D DB2 or Postgres you can um, read it on your own to see uh, how to encrypt um, the database at the schema or table level next um, let's talk about the column level encryption uh, for column level encryption um, is you, you, you just have to encrypt um, your data at the code level if you use um, spring boot and use jpa 
to connect to our database or you know manage the database um, connection and stuff like that. Um, JPA uh, has different way to um, to allow you to encrypt your um, your your columns. Um, so we will take a look at how uh, we're gonna do column level um, in the next video. Um, here is a simple example. I have created um, like an example of how to do it. And so let, let's take a look at, at, at the, the example. So um, let, let me show you a bit and then um, for the next video, we will um, do a lab to do it um, ourselves. So let's take a look at how we do it. So uh, one, uh, uh, one option is to um, use um, an anno annotation called convert. Uh, annotation, the, the, the convert will specify how to convert the column when you write to database and when you read from database. And then you specify a class which will do the conversion for you. So for this conversion, it could be anything. It doesn't have to be encryption. It could be any conversion that you need. Or if you want to change from one language to another, uh, or you want to um, change um, like from kilometer to mile, something like that, you know, you can use this con 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 um, convert annotation to do, to do it. Uh, and you can do it and you can use it for the encryption as well so um, we will have to specify like the class for the data conversion so we'll take a look at um, the, the, the attribute encryptor here so for attribute encryptor um, you can specify in any class that you need that, but you have to make sure that it implement attribute Converter. So this attribute um, converter is um, is in, is a library for the Java persistent, meaning it's the Java uh, that uh, library for um, writing and reading to database. And what you have to do is that you have to uh, sub, uh, implement two method. Uh, the first method is to convert from entity to database column, and then you and then. The second method is to con convert from um, the database to uh, the, the entity class attribute. So, um, so what you do here is that when you want to uh, write to the database, you do encryption. Here, here you use um, AES um, to encrypt data. Uh, so to encrypt data, you have to specify like um, um, a cipher method for so here for the cipher method you specify the algorithm that you use you specify AES and then you also have to specify key uh, so here key you can use um, the, the key for AES has to be um, 16 or 32 in length and it could be you know anything but you uh, don't want to um, write it in code like this um, to make it more secure, you should use like key management to do to do that. So this is just a simple example, just to um, demonstrate how to use this attribute um, converter here. So here, when you write to database column, you do encryption, and when you read from database, you do decryption. So here, this is column level encryption. You do it at the code level. So the 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 um, the two method is quite different. Um, you will see it in, in the lab um, um, in the next video.